Ray Minkowski and Lisa Brandt standing Hi, in the high V in Sycamore, Illinois. And we were talking a little bit this afternoon about how we're pretty much three months into the year. Yeah. New Year's is come and gone, and with it, probably most people's resolutions. We thought we'd give you some tips, tricks to kind of kickstart or re-resolution those New Year's resolutions. Including my own resolutions. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're in the same boat as you, right? Yes, I feel that. Like, uh, you, you can start really strong in January, and then by February, everything starts to kind of fall apart. L so, life starts to happen. Yeah, yeah. You get sick. We've had a lot of illnesses in our families lately, you know, uh, Kids, things. spouses, yep, whatever. Right. So now it's like, okay, now you're like, ooh, it's already March and I haven't done anything. And the goals I thought I had for myself are, are gone. So how do I pick back up and start over again? And how do you start over with right. some food choices that might be a little bit easier than you realize when you're walking through your grocery store like we have here at the right. hy and Sycamore? So, Lisa, what do, you, what do you have and why? Well, of course, I pick fruits and vegetables. <laughs> funny you and should I ask didn't. and you didn't but that's okay because we have a variety of things here and that's kind of the idea behind that is to have a variety of different nutrients and things so really quick and easy is you know some kind of pre-made salads now this one's my favorite this is power greens it has chard uh, swiss chard kale and spinach in it so i like this one a lot now, what I like about it is, now I'll throw that in. I had lunch with my interns today. They're running the camera. <laughs> and they, um, <laughs> at lunch I brought this and I threw some berries in it. You can also throw nuts in it. Um, I had some roast beef, so you could throw roast beef on it. You can do lots of things with it. So, also, I always say this. Look to your fast food restaurants. I know it sounds funny, but a lot of them have really great salads out there like think about wendy's wendy's has some great salads with some chicken in them and berries and different greens uh panera has lots of not so fast foody i guess panera is but they have lots of great they have a kale caesar so kind with, of steal their ideas yeah steal their ideas and make it your own and add what you like to it um, i also like brussels sprouts my kids actually request brussels sprouts because i roast them and kids love Roasted well, do you vegetables. Add bacon? Um, I don't add bacon, my, but you can. And bacon that would makes be great. them better. Yeah, bacon makes everything better. But what you want to do is, like, I cut off the ends, and I cut them in half, and I toss them with olive oil and some black pepper and some garlic, and roast them in the oven, about 400 degree oven. For how long? Uh, 15, about 20 minutes or so. I start to watch them till the outsides get nice and brown and crusty. And that's uh, something. And is that's where, pretty quick and easy. And as the weather's warming up, or if you're somebody that grills your you round grill. like I am, you can also throw that on the grill. Absolutely, yeah. You could certainly do that. Uh, Swiss chard is one. You might see this in your store, and you're like, what the heck is it? What do I do yeah, with it? Yeah, that's Swiss chard, if you're wondering. Yeah, that's Swiss chard. And what I do with Swiss chard, and I've done this with kids, and they love this, is we'll take it in a wrap, and we will um, sh just cut up or break literally just break the Swiss chard apart and put it on a wrap or a tortilla and then a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese and a little bit of like rotisserie chicken and roll it up and make a wrap or you can put it on the stove and heat it up and um, it's delicious. Yeah. Almost it's like, like a, a quesadilla. quesadilla with uh, the Swiss chard, cheddar cheese, and some chicken. And we, and you and I have talked about we this love before. These, we, we love the flat outs and fold it's. Mm -hmm. um, moderate amount of carbs, somewhat sizable serving size of Fair amount of fiber, very versatile. Right. I mean, we do everything pe from pizzas. We'll do quesadillas like that at home. We'll do all kinds of different wraps. We'll do almost like a, a faux burrito or a faux pita puff. And again, with the, the associated burrito or, or pizza ingredients. And the big thing is, even my kids will eat these. Right. And like you and I have done events, and, and kids and, and adults enjoy them, and it's a healthy option. Well, one of the things we've made before in the past was we took um, a flat-out wrap, and then we threw some rotisserie chicken on it, and then we threw some cheddar cheese and some barbecue sauce, those, and we put them in the oven. Those were excellent in the, and quick. That's a, in the, It's quick. So when you're, like, we have nothing good to eat at home in about the same amount of time to wait in the long line at the fast food place. You could stop at your high V, pick up your flat-outs, pick up a rotisserie chicken. As long as you have some cheese right. and barbecue sauce, you're good to go. Right. So the other thing I like this, we've talked about broccoli slaw before. I love this. It's just shredded broccoli, and it's got a little bit of carrots and a little radicchio in it. Um, some red cabbage. I'm sorry, not radicchio. But anyways, this with a little bit of just small amount of dressing on it, is, it makes a great little quick side. You could add it to your salads. So you could do more things with it that way. Uh, you could throw it into soups. So really versatile and a way to kind of amp up the nutrition in some of the foods that you've been eating. The other thing I like about that is some people, from a texture or crunch standpoint, that's going to reduce some of that crunch, where a lot of times, like the traditional diet foods, people eat and they walk away still hungry, and part of it is they're not satisfied because really 
the eating chewing experience was absent, so I think that's a great addition. And that one has a lot of eating chewing experience because right. it is crunchy. So, and then berries. Don't forget your berries. <laughs> that's a joke, see, because blueberries help your memory. So don't forget them. So blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, blackberries, any of your berries, we should try to eat these really every day if we can. Great source of fiber, lower in sugar than some other fruits. So just a really great choice all around. I like them on salads. I put them on yogurt. I put them in oatmeal. Um, lots to do with them. And just and eat them like they are. If you're worried about buying them or you look at that, like, well, they're kind of expensive and we never finish them before they go bad, one, try and incorporate them every day and things like salad, like Lisa's suggesting, go steal the salad ideas from your fast food menu because they do use things like berries. And I never would have thought of that until I saw it commercially available right. on the drive through menu for fast food places. But don't be afraid to buy your berries frozen. Right. And then you're not going to have to worry about them going bad. And I think every day I, I can't Right, and then you just more. pull out what you need, so it's simple and easy. But the other thing I like is things that are already pre-cut up for us. Now, this is um, butternut squash, and so butternut squash can be kind of tricky to cut up. It's just a little tedious. It's not hard. But if someone's already done the work for you, you can now roast this. You can throw them into soups. You can, you know, do numerous things with it. But that's and always a, a great one. A lot of people walk through, especially seasonally in the fall, right, you start seeing things like um, the squashes show up in your produce section. And, mm -hmm. and a lot of people look at it and they think, oh, it's decoration, like you would just a pumpkin or a gourd. And they don't make the next step of what can I do with that. And if they do, they look at it and think that's too much work. The work's been taken out of right, it for right. you. Right, right. So this is all ready to go. And even there's even cooking instructions on the back, which is really handy. So really great thing to have around the it, house. And you can, like I said, um, you can roast it and then put it in a salad even. You know, you don't have to, and you can eat it cold later, but you roast it and first we've, just we've to cook done it. both at our cooking yes. events here. Yeah. Lisa and I have, have, have done a number of events cooking here in the club room right. at the hy -Vee. Right. And we've done stuff where it's roasted on a salad, and we've also made soups. And to many people's surprise, it's they enjoyed good. it and took the recipe and went home and made right. it themselves. Right. So these are some things you can start to do. So make little changes. I would suggest when you do make a meal for yourself, include at least like two vegetables at that meal. That, that, that's something most people don't do. We tend to eat our, we have our protein, we have our starch or like a rice or potato, and then we do a vegetable. But, you know, serve two vegetables or do a vegetable and then do a big hearty toss salad to go with that meal. And, and that's... I, I kind of like the idea of starting small, and that's why I picked some of the smaller things that I have here. Uh, with vegetables, the more vegetables you eat, if you're familiar with Eat By Color, we say eat as many, mm -hmm. as often as you can. If you're right. looking for variety, which we encourage you to do, there's tons of great examples on Pinterest. I'll show, shamelessly plug the eatbycolor.com website for recipes or even the Eat By Color Pinterest page. There's a ton of recipes there. Get out there and get outside of the box and learn some different things. Uh, keeping with small and kind of that re-resolution, I tell people to find a couple small things, execute with great consistency, and build on those mini successes. And sometimes it's a matter of if you skip breakfast, and I'm not saying breakfast is the end-all be-all to being successful with health, wellness, and weight loss, but sometimes a small thing like getting a blender bottle, these are available for like 8 to $12.00 anywhere. They're here at Hy-Vee, they're at my club Fitworks down the road. You can get them online. But getting a blender bottle and getting a protein powder means that you now have a quick, easy, portable meal, one right. that's great to introduce those vegetable or um, berries. the berries to. And it's going to be a small thing that you can start doing every day. And then, yeah, if you're going to run it through a blender or a Ninja mm -hmm. or any of the similar you items, you can start greens. adding some, some of the greens. And, and the big thing is it's a small change. It's not going to inconvenience you. It's not going to force you to make your life revolve around right. the resolution, and it's something you can do every day. And if you start doing that small thing, it's going to lead snowball. to a big success. It does snowball. The other thing is Halo Top, and I grabbed this because <laughs> I bought this last week. It's their s'mores flavor. I thought it was really good. But one of the questions I get, and I don't know if you get with this with people looking to lose weight, is you know, they have something that they typically have after dinner that's quote unquote bad for you. And really there's no bad foods. Right, right. It's just how much of it do you eat, how often do you eat it, but something like your Halo Top or your Arctic Zero or even a, a really thick protein shake is a great alternative to say regular ice cream or frozen custard or cookies or cake or pie that you can have and it's not gonna upset the apple cart. Right, and 
I like a sweet treat after dinner. So I will do like a hot vanilla caramel tea, which is just really vanilla caramel tea that I throw a little milk in just to make it a little more creamy. But it's just plain tea with some caramel. But then if you had, but I want something sweet to go with that. So that a little bit of that goes a long way, and you could have that with and, it. And even the this for the whole pint is 320 calories. If we compare that to serving ice cream, what is it like? A half cup of ice cream is, is about or a cup of ice cream is 320 half calories. Cup. Yeah. Half cups, so half cups 150. You're get, you're going to be able to eat a fair amount. Right, right. And if you're already eating ice cream, this is an easy transition that's going to kind of scale back some of the calories, right. reduce the sugar, reduce the fat, and up your protein. Or you may get to the point where you just don't need as much of it. And... Or maybe you don't do it at all. Or maybe you do what I do, which is I take my blender bottle, I fill it with well two scoops of protein, and then I fill it solid with frozen berries. Then water, some heavy whipping cream. I shake it and I sit and eat it with a spoon. And I get a ton of fiber. That sounds good. A reasonable amount of protein. The antioxidants from the berry, berries, very little amount of sugar, relatively low calories. It's going to be anywhere from three to four hundred calories. But it's a great option to have in a dessert. But you're getting a lot of other good things in there. So you're getting a, you're getting your protein. You're getting the fiber, like you said. You're getting all those antioxidants from the berries. So that's also very good. So there's a lot of other things going on in that. Besides those, that, those are nutrient dense calories versus just kind of 300 empty calories somewhere from and, some chips or something. And I think it's a for me anyways. It's an easy way to introduce berries on a somewhat regular. Basis. basis to my daily nutrition. Do you do the frozen berries? In I do the frozen yeah. berries because otherwise they'll end up going bad. Don't ask me why. And I also, the frozen ones aren't make it, allow it to they be also, thicker, more like a, a shake or like eating a, a blizzard that's or a cement mix or whatever. Yeah. And that, that, now after. with summer coming, that's a great treat. It is. Yeah. And it's one, in, you know, you could do that when you leave in the morning for work, throw that in your soft-sided cooler bag and you can have that at lunch or mm -hmm. mid-morning or mid-afternoon and it's going to serve two functions. One, it will serve as almost an ice pack for your lunch. Mm -hmm. And two, it's going to give you almost like a decadent, healthy option to have as a snack or a meal. I love that. What else we got? I don't know. I think that's all we have today. Next event. If you're watching live, our next event <laughs> April is... April 12th. April 12th. Here okay. in the club room, 6 p.m. And that event is free. Watch for details on Facebook. We'd love to have you come out. Yep. It'll um, be a lot of fun. Sometime later today, I will post below this video. So right below this, if you're watching live on Facebook... I'll post a link to the kickstart that we shared back around the holidays. It's loaded with information on how to get started with being successful in terms of health, wellness, and weight loss. Good. Thank you. All right. Have a great day, you guys.